Suspension is an important aspect to any mountain bike, and improperly set up, it can be working against you. There are several parameters that you might have to change. High speed, low speed compression, high speed, low speed rebound, air pressure. For most riders, a lot of these parameters can be set up with a guide. And then from there, you can just go by feel and adjust accordingly. However, people demanding higher performance from their suspension may use specialty tools. A lot of these tools are expensive and don't use lasers, so we decided to build our own. We've wired a time of flight sensor into the bike DAC. This measures fork usage over time and streams the data to a smartphone. We can achieve very high throughput rates in the kilohertz and understand if the rider is bottoming out and then get feedback on the compression and rebound settings. The bike DAC or bike data acquisition system is a tool that we developed to gather data from sensors while riding. You can also measure things like bike angulation, interaction with suspension, braking interaction with suspension, stress of certain components, temperature, any sensor that you wire into it you can gather data from and it's really up to the user as to what you want to measure and what you want to accomplish. Manufacturers might use this to gather metrics on new components. I developed all the hardware and firmware while Matt developed the React Native app. You can find a link to all of our socials in the description below. The current device is the first revision and we understand the issues with the mounting to the fork, the size of the device, the wire routing, and the general jankiness of zip ties all over the place. All of this will be taken care of in the second revision. With all that being said, let's take it for a spin. I then verified the cloud data against the rubber o-ring of the fork. They both agreed that I used around 150 millimeters of travel. Right now we don't have a ground truth verification using a shock whiz or motion instruments device. However, visually looking at the data, I think we achieved what we set out to do. This isn't the end of the project, and we'd like to get some devices out in the field so people can try this for themselves. If you have an interesting application or project that you can use our device for, we'd love to hear from you, so please reach out. Thanks for watching, happy riding, and happy hacking.